One of the biggest challenges with creating forms is making sure you don't overwhelm your respondents with irrelevant questions. Asking unnecessary questions leads to fewer completed forms and less reliable data. That's where logic comes in. Logic tailors your forms to each respondent, making the experience more engaging, efficient, and memorable. With conditional logic, you can show and hide questions in pages based on the user's previous answers, ensuring they only see what's relevant to them. In this video, we'll explore the different ways you can use logic in Fillout. First off, what is logic? In forms, logic refers to the rules you set the control form behavior. For example, if someone says they own a pet, you'll want to ask follow-up questions specific to them. You want the questions to change based on their answers. And that's where logic comes in. Users only see questions that are relevant to them, but logic is more than just hiding questions. And there are several other ways you can use logic in fillout, like showing or hiding pages depending on your respondent's input, calculating prices or scores from responses, and using form validation to define rules that ensures responses are correctly formatted or aren't on a blacklist. While most form builders hide logic behind their paid tiers with Fillout, it's available on the free forever plan. So how do you set up logic in Fillout? First, let's talk about field logic. This allows you to control individual form fields based on user inputs. Here's a simple example. We have a question asking if the user has a pet. If they select yes, an additional field appears asking for the type of pet. To set this up, you navigate to the field settings on the right side here and select logic. Then select to either show or hide the field and click set conditional logic. Then add your condition or rule. When do you have a pet is yes. I want this question to be shown. You can also add multiple conditions and group conditions for more complex logic. Field logic can also be used for input validation, ensuring that the respondent provides the correct information before moving forward. If they don't, then they can't. To do this, select the question or field you would like to add validation to and head to the right settings panel, selecting validation. And use either rejects to validate a form input for those of you who are more tech savvy, or use a conditional rule like we've done before. I'll quickly create an example that only allows particular email addresses. And then I'll input the error message shown to the respondent. I'll even use the respondent's name to personalize this message. Next, let's move on to page logic. This controls the display of entire pages based on user responses. Continuing with our pet example, if a user indicates they have a dog, we should show a page with products specifically made for dogs. To set this up, select logic in the bottom right of your editor, and now Fillout does an amazing job of visualizing the form flow, which makes setting up page logic a breeze. We have a page for dog products here and a page for cat products. Only when the respondent selects dog for the question on this page, do I want them to move onto the dog product page. So remove these branches from the current flow, creating two separate paths. Then create a branch from the questions page to the cat's product page and continuing along, then add another to the dog products page. Select set condition and like we did before, create the defining rule. When the response to what type of pet do you have is dog, the respondent will be taken on this path and when they select cat, the other. Easy. And finally, let's touch on integration logic, which can be used to conditionally trigger actions in other apps based on user input. For instance, if a user indicates they are interested in receiving the latest news, you could set up an integration to automatically add this customer to your newsletter campaign with relevant information based on their selections. And there you have it. For more tips and tricks on everything Fillout, make sure you check out Fillout's helpful docs and resources.